This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In this video, I'm gonna break down how you can get images like this using the Godox SA-17 projector. And these little circular pieces of magic, they're called gobos. With this one, you can mimic the sunlight coming through your window. First, I shot it the more conventional way and it looked all right, but when I staggered it, I loved the look. Yeah, it's not very realistic, but I get this nice triangle shape at the top. Woo! And you guys know I've been all about color lately. I could have used a white backdrop, but I used red because I felt like it was just gonna make this image pop out of the screen. To slightly change things up, I asked it to stand closer to me so I could blur out the lines on the backdrop. And I got an entirely different look this time by only changing her distance from the background and raising the light so that I could make her shadow disappear behind her on the wall. Here's another window gobo that comes with that pack and look at how I could focus and defocus the lines. It gives me so much control over the look of my image. My biggest concern here was to keep her entire body inside of the window projection and distribute it evenly so the photo looked balanced. I'm super anal about this kind of stuff and it's important, these details matter. So try to get it all right in camera while you can or you're gonna regret it later. All right, so this was my money shot. I placed an LED on each side of her set to blue. That backlight up there was meant to give me a little bit of separation light, but it didn't have any impact on this photo, so just ignore it. I had to raise that light on the right side of her all the way up so I could fill like the top of her head with blue light. And I put the main light perfectly straight on to her, like where her face was and slightly elevated to get that perfect slit on her face without creating any weird shadows. I loved how that looked so much that I kept the slit lighting going, but this time I rimmed her with a red light and a blue light that I used to fill the shadows in on her body. By adding these two lights, I created a separation light so her body just didn't blend into the darkness. My favorite shot from those photos was the blue one. The blue on blue with the strip of light nasty well i know a lot of people don't have leds at home they have flashes right and i'm going to show you how to get this exact same shot using flash i have a bare bulb flash over here with a blue gel on top i have a bare bulb over here with a blue gel basically in the same position as the where the leds were when i took the shot here I have a flash inside of the Godox SA-17 and not every flash will work on here. You want something with a smaller bulb. The key is when you're using a flash, you wanna make sure that it has a modeling light so you can position and compose the slit because if you don't have this, this modeling light, you're gonna have a tough time trying to find your sweet spot and you're always gonna be taking test shots. That is a problem. So you wanna have a modeling light so you can see what, what's going on there. So the thing is that I already have everything set up, but the process of getting my flashes balanced, I have three lights here, the process of getting them balanced still took way longer than me setting up my LEDs and seeing the effect on the body. I got the nice white strip on her face and then I turned on those side lights. I put them at minimum power um, those are a lot more powerful than this little guy here. So that's why they're at minimal power. And the key is to not overpower the, the slit of light on her face. You want to just accent the body. You don't want to overpower the slit. So I'm going to take a shot here. Everything's already set up. And you see here, like, remember what I was talking about those little adjustments? And that's where you can get creative. You can actually put it directly in front and then you're gonna get that slit behind her and you can actually use that in your composition. But if you want it out of the frame, you're gonna have to put it all the way to the side like this so it's not in the picture. One, two, three. The reason why I've been using LED a lot lately 
is not just because of the what you see is what you get, because I feel like I'm proficient enough in Flash that I can get any result that I want, but from a workflow standpoint, the ability to quickly change colors and change up the look, because I don't have an assistant to do that. It's me running around, changing everything, being able to do this and switch everything up. And it's just that, that is the reason why I've been using LEDs lately. And someone that advocates for people to learn how to use light, manipulate light, control light, learn flash photography. Um, I could tell you that I feel like using LED lights actually will help you understand light better because you will learn like how light falls onto someone's face and you're gonna learn those little things and I feel like that'll translate to learning how to position flash better and how to use flash better. And of course, of course, this video would not be possible without my sponsor and that is Squarespace. So why should you be using Squarespace? Well, number one, you don't need any special skills to, to make the website. It's so easy to use and you can change it up instantly at a click of a button. You can host your e-commerce and your online store with Squarespace and with them, I sell my Lightroom presets and my retouching tutorials and make great side income doing that. You get 24 seven customer support and best of all, if you use the code Manny, you're gonna get 10% off your first purchase. This social media stuff, that can be taken away from you. Your website is yours, it's all yours. So, what are you waiting for?